there's Tibetan saying, better idea come from 100 people, the damn brain not so smart, <laughs> than one great thinker or intellectual person. Do you agree? <laughs> Thank you very much, that's all. Thank you. 40 of the world's most innovative thinkers were gathered to form the Synthesis Group. You concentrate on the Synthesis Conference. I think that's wonderful. To travel to India to meet with the Dalai Lama. We need some new sort of effort or new sort of idea. We. To solve many of the world's problems. When I read to him the page that said the Synthesis Hypothesis. People that are called to be here are each doing wonderful work in the world. We believe that there is a process that underlies the creation of all matter, of consciousness itself. The moment that we said yes to being here, an inner process began to take place. I expected him to break out in characteristic Tibetan laughter. <laughs> and that's the point I really got nervous. So. Just getting here was like a bus ride through one of the hell worlds. Which really was a hard trip. When I get into that much discomfort and pain, I begin to hallucinate. Bouncing around in that damn bus. The pain was exquisite. Because you keep interrupting. No, I'm not interrupting. She finished. Some of you may have noticed we all have egos. For you, it doesn't with me, and I don't agree with you. Tomorrow, we would really love it if they behaved well. What we discovered in 45 minutes was that's enough time for chaos to descend, but not synthesis. I'm rough with people. I'm egocentric. I would not like to be represented by somebody else. What were the choices that were involved? I'm a complete asshole. The answer must come from collective effort. I'm feeling a little bit railroaded at the moment. Main purpose of our guessing is long-term strategy. No. That's not why you're there. I heard him say to me, open your heart, Fred. Open your heart. Why you're there is that sometime toward the end of this, the Dalai Lama is going to sit you down and lecture you and get you out of your egos. <laughs> this is, we are not talking about religion. If we practice compassion, Buddha will support us. I'm not talking that. If we are a more compassionate person, I get more benefit. I will be more happier person. <laughs>